Hello, good evening class. Okay, um, here I do a video to explain uh, the way to answer formative practice 2.2 questions 4. Because I found that many students not able to draw the graph. Okay, now we look at questions um, 4. A car is driven from the rest and accelerate at 4 meter per second square for 8 seconds along a straight route. So the car is driven at a constant velocity for 20 seconds and it breaks apply. Yeah? Breaks are apply. So the car reduces the velocity at the rate of 2 meter per second square until it stops. So the question asks you to sketch the graph for acceleration time graph, velocity time graph, and displacement time graph. Okay, so based on the information given, we have to highlight what is the uh, important keywords here. So for the first 8 seconds, uh, the car has with 4 meters per second. Okay, and then the car driven at constant velocity for 20 seconds after that. And then it brakes apply. That means uh, the car going to reduce the velocity eh, after that. Uh, with a rate of 2 meter per second until it stops. So based on all these information, okay, first we have to draw the graph with axis accelerations against time, eh, against time. And then why I put here 8 seconds, 28 seconds and 44 seconds. 8 seconds because the first 8 seconds it travel before it accelerate before meter per second square. So I mark 8 seconds here. And then it travels with constant velocity for 20 seconds. So I add another 20 seconds after the 8 seconds. So I, it's 28 seconds. Yeah? And after that, how are you going to determine what is the time yeah, when the car stops? Okay. So first, we have to calculate what is the velocity of the car after the first 8 seconds. So based on the formula, V equals to U plus AT. So the velocity after the first 8 seconds will be Start from rest, u is 0, plus a is 4 times 8 seconds. So you will get 32 meter per second. Okay, so this one will be for the first part, for the first 8 seconds. So that means you will achieve 32 seconds after the first 8 seconds, and then maintain the speed for 28 seconds. Eh? Okay, next, <clears throat> how are we going to get 44 seconds here? You have to know, huh? From 32 meter per second, if you throw him down with the rate of 2 meter per second square until it stops, is how, how much time it needs. So we're going to use the same formula, V equal to U plus AT. But remember, this one is for the for this part, for the third part. Okay, for the third part, this, this one formula. So the final velocity will be 0 because stop, and then the initial velocity we take as 32 because before this, before uh, uh, before that is moved with 32 meter per second plus negative 2. Why negative? Because break apply that means we're slowing down or decelerate. So times the time. Okay. So you solve this equation where 2t is 32 and then t will be 16 second. Okay. So that's why I have 44 seconds here because I add another 16 second. Here is 16 seconds, right? 28 plus 16 is 44. Okay, so after we know that we already marked all the times and eh, all the um, time frames, so what we're going to do is we're going to draw the graph. Eh? For the first eight seconds, the car has already be 4 meters per second, that means I mark at 4. Like, eh? Okay, I mark at 4 because 4 meters per second for the first eight seconds, so I'm going to draw the straight line until. Uh, each, uh, each for the 8 second, yeah? it's straight line like this. Okay, then next constant velocity after first 8 seconds, you will maintain constant velocity for 20 seconds. Constant velocity means the acceleration is zero, that means there is no acceleration. So, what you're going to do is you're going to mark on the zero line, which is on the x axis. Yeah? You're going to draw the line on the x axis from 8 until 28 seconds. Okay, so this one is the zero acceleration. And then after 28 seconds, then the car start to decelerate with the rate of negative 2. So I'm going to mark at negative 2. 
okay, following another 16 seconds until it achieves 44 seconds. So it's a straight line again. This one doesn't look like a straight line and we draw it again. So make sure you use the ruler line. So here is a straight line. This is a straight line. Okay. Now we continue with questions B, velocity time graph. Huh? Okay, but for velocity time graph, make sure the y axis you change to velocity time graph for questions B. So for the first eight seconds, the car accelerates with um, four meter per second square. So what is the speed? What is the maximum speed you're going to achieve? Okay, um, based on the first calculation we did is 32. Uh, yeah? Before this is 32, 32 meter per second. That means the highest speed achieved by the car is 32 meter per second. So I mark here as 32 meter per second, and then I'm going to draw with the straight line. Okay, draw with the straight line. Okay, and then the car maintain the speed for 20 seconds. That means from 8 seconds until the 28 seconds will be the same speed. So will be maintained at 32 meter per second. It's a straight line. And then from here to here will be easier because after you know here is 44 seconds, then you bring it down until it stops. Okay, so the lines will bring down until 44 here. Okay. So here, this part means reduce in speed, eh? reduce in speed. Okay, another difficult part is displacement time graph. Okay, this one you have to do calculation again. You have to find out what is the total displacement travel. Okay, for the first eight seconds, so I divide into three parts and then do calculations. So we know that if you want to uh, calculate displacement from velocity time graph, we have to calculate what is the area under the graph. Okay, so this triangle, you can calculate the area of this triangle by using half times 8 times 32, right? Uh, for this area, for this area. Okay, so you're going to get 128 meter for this part. Okay, next, for this rectangle, I think very easy, right? It's 20, the, the, the time frame is 20 seconds and then the speed is 32. Then you multiply and find the area of these regions will be 640 meter. And similar for this triangle, you can see this one is a triangle. So this part will be uh, 256. Okay, you can calculate by using the same formula with the triangle. Area of triangle. <coughs> okay, so next what we're going to do is we're going to plot the graph based on the velocity time graph. So for the front part here, yeah, you can see the speed actually increasing from 0 until it achieves 32. And based on displacement time graph, okay, the gradient of the displacement time graph is the velocity, right? Okay. Remember, this, uh, the gradient of the displacement time graph is velocity. So that means the gradient of the graph is going to increase from 0 until uh, 32. That means going steeper and steeper. Okay, so for the first part, 1 to 8, we know the displacement will have a 1 to 8, we'll have 1 to 8 meter after 8 seconds. So our target is here. So I'm going to draw the graph with increasing uh, gradient, which is mean the curve like this. Okay, you can see the gradient keep on increasing. So from here, it starts from zero gradients and slowly it increases to a steeper gradient. Okay, so we done the first part, and then, then we now we try and solve the second part where you can see the velocity maintained, and then you have a total uh, displacement for twenty eight seconds. You have to sum out the total displacement of this. Yeah? So if you sum out one two eight and six hundred and forty, you will have another value which is seven hundred, um, which is seven hundred and sixty eight. Okay, 768 meter when you sum out these two. So I will mark over here okay, at the same level of 762. And then at this point, because the speed and uh, the velocity maintain, that means the gradient of the graph maintain the same. Okay, so from this point, I will draw straight line. It's a straight line. Yeah? It's a straight line. Okay, from 
this point onwards until here, straight line. Okay, and the last part here, uh, for sure you have to sum up all. Okay, if you sum up all the displacement travel, you will get a value of 1000 and 1024. And 1024 meter. Okay, let's say I mark over here. Okay, but this one, you can see the velocity decrease. That means the gradient decrease. And you have to draw a graph with reduced in gradient. So if this one is increased in gradient, reduced in gradient will be in other way. Eh? If the line like this, then it will be a curving. Eh? The curve reduced in gradient. Okay, or like this. Eh? The curve reduced in gradient. Okay, so here you're going to draw a line and then curve down, curve down until it achieve this point eh? means the curve is in inwards okay here you cannot see very clear because this one um, not too big eh? if you draw on a piece of a paper then you can see the curve uh, this is um, reduced in gradient okay so here is answer for questions for informative practice 2.2 .2. okay thank you class